Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Yuri again from Taiji Kimono. And a couple of weeks ago, I came by this photo on Instagram that showed an alternative method of tying your obiake. Now, I think it was especially meant for um, non shibui ones, which generally are longer. Um, the reason why I wanted to film this one because it kind of solves the solution of having too much fabric on top of your obi, and sometimes it just pops up because there's this bulk of fabric, so to speak. Now, the way that they tie is, is actually before um, folding the sides inwards, they actually fold the, the actual length of fabric, they fold it back before folding the sides in. Now, I found it quite genius, to be honest. I've tried it myself, and I must say, I, I'm a fan. I really am a fan. And because of that, I wanted to share it with you because it just makes life easier, so to speak. So you, you can kind of see it as a hack. Um, yeah, it, it's just an alternative way of tying that makes it much, much easier. So yeah, for basically all that you need is um, an obiage that is not made with shibri. Like a full shibri one or partially, I don't, I suppose with those that have just random spots of shibri would be fine. It's mostly about the length and non shibri ones are much longer. Like about this much longer I think but yeah anyhow um, I'm gonna show you how to do it and I hope I'll you like it just as much as I do so yeah I just see that grabbing your obiage and let's go so as you can see I just grabbed one of my summer obiage now this trick mostly worked with non uh, shibui obiage because they are less bulky now what you first want to do is fold one part in. Now how much you should fold in depends on you and what would you prefer. I have about 20 centimeters I think. What you then want to do is just fold them in thirds. Hope you can see. And then fold the other part to thirds. And again, in two. I'll just tuck it in temporarily while I do the other side. Okay, just to grab them. But and what you do now is basically just tie the way you normally would. And what I do I want to do now is instead of making a knot, what you can do is do it this way, or like you normally would, just folding it over and then sucking the ends in this method will just deal with the excess fabric that you normally might have when the, with non chibori obiage and it also creates way less bulk right here so yeah I hope everything looks fine like I said I just do it without a mirror so I hope it looks fine, but yeah, this is kind of an obiage hack, so to speak. Well, I thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.